Let's talk aluminum trailers for a minute. This is a piece of two by six eighth wall aluminum tubing, round corner, nice stuff. Very strong, but only if you use it in the right way. A couple things about bolts. Bolts are not made to be loaded like an axle. Yes, you kind of can, but eventually you're gonna have a shear load on them and they might break. Or if this starts walking back and forth, it's gonna embig in the hole, you're gonna get cracks propagating, whether it's in steel, aluminum, stainless, titanium, whatever. Um, bolts are made to be to apply a force a clamping force and then if there's a load this way on the bolts it's actually what's holding it is the friction fit between the two pieces that it's holding together so um if you're bolting something let's say be it your safety chain beat your coupler beat your your, your uh, leaf spring mounts um if you just bolt it through there and tighten it up or you come down through the top and tighten it up it's really not pushing against anything so this is a grade eight half inch bolt the torque spec on this bolt per the manufacturer of the bolt is 107 foot pounds so a lot of the trailer manufacturers i'm fixing these things all the time here in the shop they're tearing literally cracking and tearing through this bottom hole because you've got a coupler bolted on from the top it's trying to pull the tongue weight and the bouncing is trying to pull this washer and this bolt and it, even if you got a plate under there it's trying to compress and squeeze this and eventually you're gonna have a failure you get things start moving around stuff starts to break so the solution to that costs money takes time but it works so uh first thing we've done we rigged up this piece here we're going to show you what happens uh again right bolt torques we're going to try to torque this and see what happens so we got the bolt through she's in the vise so i can hold it with one hand and t tighten it up with a wrench till it kind of stops you can already see what's happening, right? So I've set this torque wrench to 50 foot-pounds. Now, like I said, the spec is 107. See what's happening? We're not achieving torque, are we? And at some point, we're going to get to the point where it actually gets easier to move. But you see the point is, if this were engineered, see also what's happening here? This is trying to pull through, and it's trying to do the same thing on the bottom. So, I know this is exaggerated, but if you go out to your brand new trailer today, and it's got a half inch bolt on it, and it's going through this way, you would not be able to torque this to spec. We couldn't even get the torque wrench to click at less than half of the spec. Here's what we do at Fully Tech Mechanical. We take a piece of Schedule 40 aluminum tubing, half inch ID, it's actually aluminum pipe. We cut a three quarter or a little bigger than three quarter hole, top and bottom. So we mark it, we, we, we do um, um, the coordinates. So we end up drill the right spots, both sides, punch it through. Then we TIG weld that, we, we put that sleeve in, we TIG weld it top and bottom, we grind it smooth. So the other thing we do is, um, We'll actually dress, we'll throw this in the lathe. You can do it with a with a, a grinder too. We'll bevel this edge so that even when we grind that TIG weld flush, um, the weld is still there, it's in that. So what happens then is any load we apply here, we're gonna transfer down here. And any load we apply here, we're gonna transfer there. So we've effectively doubled the thickness of the material this way. Um, but we've done a whole lot more. So now we're gonna take our exact same style bolt Grade eight, nothing, no, nothing fancy going on here. Let's see what happens. Still set to 50 foot pounds. You hear that? So, We've done what the other one can't. Do you see any deformation in the material? You can see the deformation over here. But we haven't deformed it over here. Let's see if we can go to spec. So I'm now set to about 107, it's actually close to like 109. Let's see what happens. I don't know if the vise is gonna hold it or not, but.
Imagine that. So, now you can see we've still compressed stuff. It has slightly deformed, but we've achieved torque. So, that sort of shows you that this tube is even deformed slightly at full, at full, um, at full draw. But what a difference. This is at spec. This didn't even get to half of spec. What do you want rolling down the road with 7,000 pounds on it behind you? Hey, remember, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing twice. Thanks for watching.